Hi, welcome to Trackstack Studio. I'm Gary Lee. Today we're going to be looking at multi-channel drum kits in Logic Pro. These used to be called producer kits, but since they've upgraded to Logic 11, they're now called multi-channel drum kits. Right, let's jump in. So I've got a four bar MIDI drum loop here that I've programmed using just East Bay drum kit. Which is fine, that's like Logic Drummer. It's good. And you can even go in to the mixer and open up the drum kit designer and change the snare drums and the, the toms. So just click on the snare drum and then it brings up all these on the left. Tons of different snare drums. I always think it's really cool because it would cost you a fortune to buy all these. It sometimes misses out a hit when you change the snare drum sound. That is fat, I like that one. So you can change the drums on this and then change the actual just click on what you want to do, change the toms as well. So you've got a lot of different options just from using the normal Logic Drummer. So let's take it a step further. Open up your library by pressing Y on the keyboard. You go to Drum Kit and you've already selected East Bay. But if we go down to multi-channel kits, and then you can see all the same kits, but they've got a plus sign by the side of them. So if we choose East Bay Plus, then it puts in a track stack for us, and it gives us access to all these different mics. And also pump, crunch, attack, sub, gated reverb, plate reverb, and some room mics. It's like having all the tracks from a live drum session. So we play it now. We've got a kick in, a kick out. So that's just the same as having two kick drum microphones on your kick. Snare top, snare bottom. The snare bottom sound is always a lot thinner. So if you want to go for a thinner snare sound, have that a bit louder. If you want the crack louder, turn up the snare top. What's really cool about this is the room mics, you know. And you also get tracks that if you haven't used a tambourine or a shaker or hand claps, you don't need those, you can get rid of them. So let's put some reverb on now, see what that sounds like. A form of compression, pump, crunch, and attack. So it gives you so many options. So we've changed the room, the compressors, and the reverb. Let's see what it sounds like without any of those in. That's crazy. Crazy extra control it's given you. Such a nice little feature you can get more in depth with and get more out of your drum sound and make MIDI sound more real, basically. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Catch you in the next one.